Okay, this is actually very interesting. Okay, it tell you like, which one is not a conjugated S base pair. So the way you find out conjugated S base pair is going to compare the chemical formula of the two species. If the differences is only a H plus, then it will be a conjugated S base pair. So if you look at the first one, H3O plus and OH minus are like conjugated S base pair. No, right? Because you know, H3O plus, if you lost one proton, its conjugate base should be H2O, right? So H3O plus, its conjugate base should be H2O. And you can also say, if I want to find out the conjugate base of H2O, then I just minus another H plus, and then that will give me OH minus. So you know, this two is a conjugated S base pair. These two, they are conjugated S base pair. But these two, they are not. If you look at the second one, NH4 plus and NH3 are they conjugated S base pair? Yes, right, because the difference is just a H plus. Okay, so the second one, yes, they are conjugated S base pair. How about the third one? HCO3 minus and CO3 2 minus. Are they conjugated S base pair? Yes, because these two here is just minus H plus. So this goes from negative one to negative two simply because you also have a charge here. Okay. So yes, this is a conjugated S base pair. For the next one, HC2CH3O2 become C2H3O2 minus. Is this conjugated S base pair? Yes. HCl versus Cl minus. Yes, okay, good. So the answer for this question will be A, right? Because that's the only pair that they, they are not conjugated S base pair. Second example is actually testing whether you know the concept. If a stronger acid is conjugate base will be actually a weaker base. So here, if you know the acidity, okay, follow that order. You have five different acids here, right? You know your HCl is stronger than your HF, then your HNO2, HCO, and HCM. Okay, so let's actually the relative acidity strength of five different acids. You ask you which one has the strongest conjugate base. Okay, so how do you actually solve this one? In order to find the strongest conjugate base, the things you should do is actually first, you want to find the weakest acid. Because based on the concept, we just say, okay, if you're stronger acid, then its conjugate base will be the weakest. If a weakest acid, then the conjugate base will be the strongest. So use that, okay, you need to learn, translate this one to find out the weakest acid. So once you have that, then you know the answer will be HCM. Because HCM is actually the weakest acid here. So its conjugate base will be CM minus. This one will be the strongest conjugate base. Okay, so that's the logic how you solve this problem. All right, so this will be the second type of questions that you should actually understand. Third type, okay, because I did not actually type the question out, so I need to actually write it down. Okay, if I give you four equations, okay, which is H2CO3 plus HS minus, that give you H. CO3 minus plus H2S. That's actually equation number one. Number two will be HI plus H2SO4 
minus that give you I minus plus H2, H3, so it is actually HSO. HSO4, this is SO4. Number three should be HF plus HCO3 minus, that give you F minus plus H2CO3. And the last one is H2SO4 plus F minus, that give you HSO4 minus plus HF. You're going to give them uh, four different equations. The first question is identify all the acids in this four equations. So what are the acids inside these four equations? Here, the first concept we should know is to find out the acid, you need to find out the species that give out photons. So in the first equation, you can see that this is an acid, right? Because you go from H2CO3 to HCO3 minus. The other S is H2S, because you go from H2S to HS minus. Second equation, HI is the acid, right? You go from HI to I minus. H2SO4. Go from H2SO4 to HSO4 minus. So you can actually repeat these things. Then you should be able to actually define all the acids in this four equation. So I will just write down all the acid here. So H2CO3, H2S, HI, HF, and then H2SO4. The second question you are going to get asked is list the acid in the order of acidity. Start with the strongest one. So you want to find out the arrangement based on the acidity. So how do you do that? So from the equation number one, you see this single side arrow. It means it's going to move toward the product side. So you know H2CO3 should be a stronger acid than the H2S. For the second questions, arrange all the acid based on the acidity. Start from the strong to the weak. From equation number one, we know H2CO3 is stronger acid than H2S. Question number two is actually HI is going to be stronger than your H2SO4. Here you will know HF is stronger than the H2CO3. Here you know H2SO4 is stronger than HF. So once you have this, you want to actually arrange the order Okay, we're going to range from strong to weak. The first thing I know is actually, I know H2CO3 is stronger than my H2S. The next thing is I need to find out some relationship actually contains these two terms. And the things we will find out is that this is actually the next equation you want to use because it contains the same species. Okay, so from here, you know HF is stronger than your H2CO3, right? Then you find out another equation that contains your HF. Okay, so you know H2SO4 is stronger than your HF. Okay, then you find out the very last one. HI is actually stronger than your H2SO4. So from here, you can see that that should be the orders you should have if you arrange these five pieces based on the acidity. The very last question you are going to get asked is actually arrange 
the conjugate base of this asset based on their specificity. So the first thing is actually to know the conjugate base will be I minus HSO4 minus F minus HCO3 minus N HS minus. So these five are the conjugate bases of all the acids. If you have a stronger acid, you have a weaker conjugate base. Therefore, you know this actually weakest acid. So its conjugate base will be the strongest. So you know for the persistency, you will actually follow this order. Okay.